Hi, welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. I'm Jason Walcott. In this video demonstration, I'm going to do the third lesson on how to paint metals. And this time, we're going to paint copper. So, let's have at it. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the third and final in my metal series, uh, which is copper today. And uh, so today I'm going to be using this uh, picture of a simple copper bowl that you see on the screen here. And I have, uh, again, already done my sketch on this toned surface that we're going to be working on. Now, uh, for this demo, the colors I'm going to be using are titanium white, just a little bit of cadmium yellow deep, cadmium red light, burnt sienna, you could also use transparent oxide red here, uh, black, I'm using chromatic black, you can use ivory black if you, if you have that. And then, uh, this is not a required color, but uh, I put out a little bit of uh, Winsor & Newton Terra Rosa, which I like to use for copper. Um, but you don't have to have that. If, if you don't have that color, you can just use these five and you'll be fine. So uh, again, with the metals, we're gonna start with the highlight. Now for copper, your highlight is gonna be, okay, mostly white, of course, with a tiny touch tiny touch of cadmium red light, tiny touch of cadmium red light, and just a little bit of the cadmium yellow deep. You could also use cadmium orange for, for this if you had it. Um, cadmium orange can work as well, but I'm using the cadmium yellow deep. And I could even make that probably even a little bit lighter, even add a little more white to it. And then again, we'll go in with this highlight color and we will put that in on the spots we see it, which is right in here. Okay, now your basic color for copper, uh, because copper is an orange red metal, um, your basic color for copper is going to be uh, burnt, mostly burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of cadmium red light to kind of redden it up. And you can mix that with some white so that's basically a good sort of general tone for copper you can start laying some of that in and blend it into the to the highlight there and then you can just add more of that mixture of burnt sienna and cadmium red light into the areas where it starts to get a little darker. Okay. So now if you add a little black into that, 
you can start to make the darker areas and then if it starts to look a little too cool then you can add in some add in some cadmium red light and black to that color to start to make the the dark areas and then just keep adding more black and cadmium red light into that mixture make those darks that you see in the metal. The important thing is to keep the darks warm. Don't make them, don't let them get too cool because then they're going to look dirty. And you don't want that, so. And then for your and now cobbler can sometimes have a little bit of a uh, like a grayish like sheen that it gets to it because of the um, like sometimes it'll have a patina on it if it starts to oxidize so let me just finish putting in the rim here and then I'll show you sometimes in some of the areas now this is where they if you have the terra rosa you could also use Venetian red you can use just a little bit of that pure color. it's just a little bit of a different color and it has some opacity to it that makes it really nice to go in and Put in those warm areas where the copper really has its intense sort of red color. Anyway, so what I was saying about the, um, it'll sometimes get a little bit of that grayish patina on it. You can just mix in a little bit of uh, white with just a tiny little bit of black because black is sort of naturally a, a cooler color. a touch of that to warm it up a little bit and you can see like it's some of the edge like along the edge of the pot there there's a little bit of that gray colored you can just kind of blend that in a little and it'll give it a little bit of that look that copper sometimes gets when it's Starting to oxidize just slightly. So, and then uh, warm reflections, you can just go in with a little bit more, uh, kind of mix some more cadmium red light with burnt sienna, but keep it a little bit more toward the red side. So, I 
I see some worms in here. What's going on? So, again, just to kind of recap slightly, um, your basic basic tone for copper is going to be burnt sienna uh, and cadmium red light mixed with white. Uh, then to darken that, you can add black and more cadmium red light. Uh, your highlight is going to be mostly white mixed with a tiny bit of cadmium red light and cadmium yellow deep or cadmium orange if you have that. And then if you have the terra rosa, uh, you can go in, or Venetian red, you can go in and add a little bit of, you know, a few punches of color here and there with that if you have it. Um, but you can also just use... Uh, in place of that, if you don't have it, you can use just a little bit of burnt sienna mixed with cadmium red light. We'll kind of, you know, imitate that a, a little bit. So I hope that this demonstration helped you uh, with the colors and procedures to paint copper. And I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!